Hi there, I'm Mitch Randall, Technical Manager for KB UK. I want to um, bring you this video today to show you how easy it is to connect the Commiviz 6 software to one of our um, F5 inverter drives. Now the F5 is powered up, uh, we're going to need the um, serial RS232485 serial keypad. So we'll plug this onto the drive, which will just clip into place like this. And the next thing we need is our USB to serial um, converter. So plug it into the, uh, the laptop. Yeah. And tighten the cables up a little bit. And then plug it into the um, serial port down here on X6C. So we're going to start by using the Commodore 6 software that I've already got installed on my laptop here. But if you need it, you can go download it for free off our uh, website. So go up to the Commiviz 6 icon. We'll start it. We'll open up the software. As you see, it just opens up with some standard um, quick start um, uh, wizards and things like that. And as we have all the hardware now connected uh, for the communications to be set up, we're just going to click on this button yeah, which is scan for a KEB device. So we'll do that and we should get a KEB device scanner here. As we're using the serial communications interface, we can then disable this TCP IP UDP connection because we're not using the um, ether, Ethernet. And um, then we can just hit the start the search down here and if everything goes to plan it will find our drive that we got plugged in. As we have two serial ports selected it's going to go through quite a few um, options. All right, there we go and we've found the drive and down the bottom here in the bottom right hand corner is add the selected um, device so we'll click on that and this gets placed in the uh, navigator here. And as you can see, it's gone directly online with the, with the drive. So from here, we can go and look at the parameters in the, in the drive. For instance, all the monitoring ones, the IU parameters for the um, F5, or go into making some direct changes set it up with some parameters and so on. So that's exactly how, um, how easy it is to um, start and communicate with, um, with the drive using the Combi V6 software and our standard um, USB serial converter. Once you've got it, um, the project up and running, you can then go to file and you can save the project, uh, save as, and decide where you want to save it so you can um, make backups and things like that. Now we have the um, communications running between the um, F5 and the Commiva 6 software and the project is online with its um, green um, connection tab here. We can then use the software to make uh, a backup of all the parameters that are inside the drive. So by making a backup, we can then um, restore these parameters to a new drive um, if we need to. So if we go to the um, tools drop down, there's a, at the very bottom of this um, drop down menu, you've got this parameter backup. So if we click on that, we can then um, see all the devices we've got online. We can then select our node um, zero. Um, also, it gives you a few options on this um, here, where you can do the um, back up the device parameters or the operator parameters and a few other options there. So, what um, if it's just a standard serial communications um, operator, I suggest there's no need to um, 
back up the operator parameters. But if you have a um, field bus um, operator, Profinet, um, Profi, um, Profibus, um, Ethercat, these sort of ones, it may be worth um, backing up the operator parameters as well. For the sake of this um, quick demonstration, I'm going to disable the uh, operator parameter backup. And uh, once you've um, done that, it's a case of press the start button down here, click on the start button, and then agree with the um, parameter list contains entry uh, read write. So just go yes to start, and it will start to um, back up all the parameters. And once that's done, it uh, asks you a couple of options to save as a file or alternatively just attach it to the project. I tend to like attaching it to the project, which is normally the, um, the default option here. And uh, we end up with a parameter backup on our navigation tree here. And we can then use that for um, reinstating parameters into a new drive. Or you can um, just um, keep them as a record of how the drive's been set up. So once the uh, parameters have been backed up, I suggest we go to File, Save Project As, and then go and save the, um, the project to your uh, hard disk. So I hope you found this um, quick demonstration of how to back up the um, drive parameters on this um, F5 uh, useful. I would recommend that um, you do uh, back parameters up on drives because you never know when it's going to be necessary to either reinstate them um, back into a drive if you have one that fails. Uh, so good record keeping and um, good parameter backups is probably key to uh, keeping a machine running um, for a long period of time and it's always, um, well, it's always useful. So thank you for um, watching this video and uh, see you again on the next video.